YouTube. Um, basically, let's give you the scope of the story. As you can see this crap that's coming up on the news here. Basically, what's been going on is some policeman got out of his cab on the way to a news conference to do a terrorist organisation. He had a top secret document facing outward and um, all the media caught it. And it was to do with ter raids on terrorists, so-called terrorist groups, bogus terrorist groups to have been put in by the MI5 and MI6. But hey, who cares? So, breaking news right now, they've done some raids and they've arrested 10 Pakistani nationals or something um, that were going to blow up a shopping mall. Now, I know there's some nutcases out there. And we know there's most of the government-made terror that we are used to, like 9-11, is government-made. Now, I'm an activists and I'm seen in this country because I'm against the New World Order as a homegrown terrorist. Right, fine, that's the little category where they want to put me in. Well, I don't want to commit any civilised, any, any person terror. I'm against the establishment that causes all the terror and all the fucking shit that's going on in the world. And if I was a leader of a group like this, I wouldn't blow up a shopping centre. Why would you blow up innocent people? You'd blow up Big Ben or Houses of Parliament, like, you know, Guy Fawkes had the right fucking idea and we celebrate his burning every bloody year for bonfire night. Fair play to Guy Fawkes, I wish he fucking was successful, we wouldn't have the bullshit. Now what's happening now is the media is doing this propaganda shite, okay? Now, I can't show you the actual picture. I don't think I can. I might... I can't show you in complete... Basically, this morning, I had an item of mail um, that was going to this place. Let me find it, because I took some pictures of some kittens here. Yeah. RFID Components Limited. Worsley Road, Kempston. Okay, if I bring this here, you, you might be able to see. Can you see that RFID? Components Limited. Yeah. RF, radio frequency, identification components, right? And then you've got some prick who accidentally shows a secret document to the media. Oh, yeah. And then conveniently resigns, resigns this morning. And then all you've got all over English television, English Illuminati brainwashing government bullshit. It's terror, 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 terror. Fear mongering shit. There's no such thing as terrorism. They want people to get live in fear. They want people to get. Oh, I'm very zoomed. Sorry. Not used to feel like this. They want people to get angry with the establishment. They want people to get angry with each other. They want people to be violent and create chaos. You know, it's like. When we had the G20 protests and that innocent man who was walking home got attacked by our police force, pushed for the, to the floor, hit his head on the floor, got back up and walked 50 yards down the road and had a heart attack and died. Now it's all over the telly that it was the old Bill's fault. The police is it's not the, the policeman himself because he's been told what he's supposed to do. It's very, very complicated in that respect. But they've done, you know, what, what? The government telly allow the police force to be tarnished in that way? I don't think so. That's so people don't think much of the police, so then they don't think much of, of the security. Look at the New York thing. The police force is that corrupt that they're thinking about getting rid of it and bringing in martial law. It's all convenient. Yeah, people, look at it, look, look at the public, public, British public being brainwashed once again with this bullshit that 12 people are now in custody being questioned about what? About what, working for MI5 or MI6? And because that document came out, they had to act on it. Come on, let's be real, people. Look at these, look at the reporters, look how serious they're looking. Look how fear mongering they're trying to look. Look, look, they look really scared. It's just, it's pathetic, yeah, it's pathetic. There's no such thing as terrorism. Please wake the fuck up. There's no such thing as terrorism. Every single part of terrorism is government fear-mongering bullshit. Wake up, people of England, and wake up, people of United States of America, and all around the world. All these people who are so, oh, the New World Order, oh, that's a conspiracy theory. Well, no, it's not a theory anymore. It's out. Brown said the New World Order is emerging. Obama said the New World Order is emerging. I could go on. There's no point me going on. And now in this country, we've got 
our Nazi police force, our Gestapo police force, being shown to be Gestapo on national television, right? And then disclosing top secret information conveniently to the media, and then all this terrorist, 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 terrorist on the news again. Rubbish. Absolute bullshit. Absolute crock of shit. Seriously, I, people are so. I'm so sick and tired of the sheep, the 70 percent of the population who are asleep, brainwashed drones. You're on your own. I'm not interested. I really ain't interested. I'm gonna go and live somewhere else with the people who are awake and want what normal people want from the world, right? And if Nibiru, a big rock comes around and blows this place up, or a nuclear bomb goes off and fucking destroys every single one of us, it would be the best thing that's ever fucking happened to this planet with the selfish, narrow-minded, pig-ignorant, money-orientated people that occupy 70% of this planet's space. If I was the planet Earth, I would have fucked the whole lot of us off years ago. I'm past caring. Peace, love and light to all my friends and subscribers. And I'm sorry I haven't been vlogging so much, but I really am not motivated to at the moment. It's, uh, it's all playing out exactly how they said it was going to play out, and not one person is doing fuck all about it. They're playing straight into the hands of the Illuminati with this crock of shit they're showing on telly. People, oh yeah, but there's nothing you can do about it, is there? They're, they're in charge. No, they're not. We put them in charge. The police are public fucking servants, for Christ's sake. They serve the public. They don't serve against the public. For oh, fuck's sake, it does my head in. Anyway, I'm going to go now. Bye.